Squad, my friends, it's Krabs here, we're playing some more Thunder! There is a new event out today called Floats, and wow is it a fun event. It is so different from uh, just anything else Gaijin has put out in the events or just the game itself. Uh, I mean, when we come to talking about favorite events, I think Guardian Angel has to near enough top it, but this one is pretty damn fun as well. Guardian Angel, really fun, also great at g uh, grinding out points and, and lines and whatnot, XP, but this one, uh, it's, it's alright with grinding out XP and lions, but it's more so about the derpiness. It's float planes, and you can use a variety. You can use the OS2U, you can use the PPY5, you can use the F1M2, you can use the H6K4. So only four planes, and two for the Americans, two for the Japanese. And you got these both sides going up against each other in arcade battles. Oh man, it is just awesome. So let me just briefly describe how you go about and play this. You've got these three capture points, and each one has these ships over it. One's a carrier, and four of them are destroyers, I think? <laughs> and th they're on every point, alright? Now, I think these carriers and whatnot, they're all neutral, uh, so they'll fire at both teams. At least that's as far as I know. I don't know if you ca if you capture the points if they turn into your allied ones or whatnot. I, I just don't know. But uh, what I noticed is that they fire on both teams. And so what you definitely don't want to do is destroy your own ships that are, the, that are closest to your base in the beginning. You want to keep those alive so that the enemy has the hardest time possible uh, trying to take them out. But what you want to do also is try to go for this middle point as quick as possible and cap it. That's why I'm using the F1M2 as my first plane, because uh, I kind of realized after playing with the bigger planes, the H6K4 and the... Well, I didn't play with the PBY, but the H6K, it's not that great at turning. It's kind of slow. So, why not just use a smaller plane that's more maneuverable? Okay, fair enough, it doesn't do the same sort of fire output, but hey, you can kill other uh, small hydroplanes, you can... Sometimes bomb stuff with your 60 kilo bombs. Uh, you can cap really well. So yeah, you got a decent job. This H6K4 wants to bomb me so bad. Really, really badly. <laughs> you can just see how he's coming behind me like that. Oh dear, I'm too fast for you, Mr. H6K4. And that's exactly why I like using this F1M2 to cap. Because I can get in these sneaky caps when everyone wants to down me, drop bombs on me, I can just quickly turn around. Unfortunate thing is, I'm having a bit of difficulty uh, staying on, on the water and capping, because what happens... I'm gonna just end up killing this guy. This is a major kill steal from Beyond, apparently. Yeah. Beyond apparently was going for him for ages, and I just kill stole it. Uh, the, the, the thing about when you're capping points is you have to get on the water to actually cap the points, alright? So you have to be physically landed on the water. But they... They cap really, really slow. You have to almost stay there. You couldn't just go at a fast speed and expect to cap it in, in one run. You'll get about half the way capped uh, before you get out of the area from one end to the other. So you gotta really slow down. And uh, that's something I didn't... I mean, I realized that I could slow down, but... I didn't realize that, oh, I, oh, I could have just done some donuts. I could have just gone around in circles a little bit. And I do realize this sooner or later here, but not yet. So, although the PBY and the H6K are the major damage output planes, especially the H6K with the 20mm in the back, this one isn't so bad. You can still get kills on, well, not really the bigger planes, but the smaller ones. Yeah, sure, you can down those. Occasionally, at times, you can down the bigger ones, depending how things go, if you can set an engine on fire here or there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm landing at the moment. I'm trying to slow down. And I'm aware of all these planes. I'm looking behind me, because I'm kind of afraid. What are you guys doing over there? Because that's, that's actually such an easy way to get kills in, in this mode, by dropping bombs on planes. I haven't done it with my F1M2, because it's only got 60 kilo bombs, but I've definitely done it with my H6K4. 
where you just drop an 800 kilo bomb on top of a plane. Oh yeah, they get wrecked, son. Oh, PBY, you want me so bad. You're coming in fast. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna take off? Ooh, scary times. Ha! It looks like he didn't get his uh, timing right because I just turned off to the side. Still, I'm running out of space. I haven't capped it after all of this time because I've been running out of space. Come on, cap. Cap, Krebs, crap, cap. I feel like. Oh dear. Say cap Krebs three times fast. Cap Krebs, cap Krebs, cap Krebs. Cre uh, crap Krebs. <laughs> cap Krebs. Do it. And now I figured out about this donuts. I'm just going fast. Sort of spinning onto my side. That allowed me to get the capture there. Too bad I didn't realize that quicker, but sooner or better now than never, as they say. PBY, can I do a bit of damage to you? The nice thing is, though, at least I can get a kill assist if I don't happen to get it. Uh, I happen to get the actual kill. But oh dear, look at this. Ugh, such a pain in the arse. <laughs> Just a little bit of machine gun damage from these things. Because I'm in a small hydroplane, it's so damn sensitive, and yeah, that's pretty much me out of the sky. My rudder control is gone. I'm still taking damage. I don't know if they're purposely going for me or if that's the AI gunner just going crazy, but little tiny bits here and there. Yeah. Oh. 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 My plane. It's a flaming ball of... Oh, dear. Confetti. <laughs> oh, we're down. We're down. But it's not over. That was just the F1 M... F... Ooh. F1 M2. Now, it's time for the H6 K4. We got the cap, now it's time to lay down the pain, as they say. <laughs> this has some, got some good firepower. Alright, so I see a plane just up in front of me, Beyond's over there, and he's actually leading me. This is Beyond's first game. This is actually my fourth game in float planes. Um, and he's actually leading, so that's pretty damn good. But we're not done here yet, fellas. We're gonna keep on going. Alright, so PBY down here, he's all the way at our spawn, see that? So, hold on, let me, can you guys see the ships? Do they turn into our ships? Well, actually, well, I can't even tell, because <laughs> because the ships are all destroyed. Great, here's me trying to make a point, and I've already contradicted myself. Oh, well, so when I see an enemy plane, like PBY, and I'm flying an A6K4, what I'm going to do, rather than take it head on, I'm gonna turn it around so that my back gunner is right in front of that PBY or whatever it might be because that has a 20 millimeter cannon that's gonna be doing the major damage and what we're looking for is setting an engine on fire because if we can do that it's almost a guarantee that you're gonna get the kill because they're gonna take critical damage they're gonna burn to death and even if people st kill, still keep on shooting at it you're going to be doing continuous damage. You're likely to get it. Only unfortunate thing is, I don't know what this PPY is doing. I think he's playing it out of the nuisance game. Where he's becoming hard to hit. Come on, PPY. Come at me. He's turning. Yeah. Here we go. I think we're going to have to get into our attack run so that we turn around to our 20mm cannon. Let's go. Let's go. Turn faster, banana plane! Banana phone. Banana plane. <laughs> Here we go, let's unleash the pain. Oh yeah, critical shot. That's exactly what I needed. But it's, I don't know what kind of a critical it is. Maybe it just means I did a lot of damage to something like it went from perfect to like black in one shot or something, I don't know. That's a critical hit. And it doesn't seem to matter that much at the moment. And everyone's going crazy still trying to get him. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna get a head off to the other point because there's no point in wasting all this time like five guys on one guy. Yes, I got it. Oh yeah, there's no point in wasting like five teammates on one enemy. Uh, I might as well go defend our point, and especially right now where there's a PBY capping. I'm trying to cap anyway, and F1 M2 coming in. H6K4. Oh yeah. That's a bombing run. 
And that is how you do it, folks. We haven't done one yet. And I'm not sure if we do it this game, because I'm planning on not releasing another video on this tomorrow. On this game mode. But we get some serious bombing derpage on the go. Okay. Here we go. F1 M2. Do you want to take me on? Come on. I just have a 20 millimeter in the back. You're only in front of me. Well, it looks like he's gonna... Oh, he's going the opposite direction. What am I gonna do? Time to flip over to my 20 millimeter. Can we get him? Can we get him? Yes, we can! <laughs> we can get a pilot snipe. And he was heading out away from me as well. That was damn lucky. That was damn lucky. A pilot snipe on a plane that's flying away from you. Yeah, and you're flying away as well. So it's like... It's like... The... The two velocities combined is just, that's quite a lot of speed. Oh dear, we've got a PPY over here. I don't know what this H6K is doing. He could easily have just dived in and killed him. Drop a bomb, maybe he didn't have bombs, I don't know. Maybe he just derped out. But I'm going in for my attack run. Beyond's on my side because Beyond wants to get it as well. I'm not going to let him. Here we go. Here we go. One a little bit in front, just in case. Huh. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Boom! Direct hit! <laughs> oh, you don't get more on the mark than that. I think... I think he, uh... He's having a bit of a bad day. But at least he'll be able to, uh... Uh, have a little swim. Did he sink or swim? He sank. <laughs> all right all right so the game is coming closer and closer to an end I'm derping out a little bit I just killed that guy I look at the leaderboard there's only one guy left and we can still cap so I'm gonna go in for a fast cap I see a bunch of my teammates oh they want those points but so do I I'm gonna hit this down hard but it's so hard to judge where the water is Unlike when you're landing on an airfield, you've got uh, the shadow to help judge when you're landing on an airfield. Not really the case when you're on water. I mean, you do have a shadow, but it's, I, I guess it's the way the light refracts off the water because it's kind of hard to see where it is. I ended up damaging my fuselage and turning it to black. So, we started coming towards the end of the round here, where the last enemy plane is up in the sky towards our initial base and I was actually eating some chocolate during this game so I'm just like oh I'm sure my teammates will finish it off I'm just gonna go in a straight line and just uh, eat some chocolate and then well when that happens here comes beyond <laughs> h6k4 hug for the win <laughs> nothing like an h6k4 hug to uh end that game. God damn it, Beyond. <laughs> Alright guys, so these are the results. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next episode, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later.